What's up, ladies and gentlemen? How are you doing today? I am Lionheart. Dark Girl. We are the, the Apex. Apex. Um, this, these episodes that are going to be played this week are basically the season finales. And, you know, we had one done maybe two weeks early, which was Remonster. But for this this week, we have Viral Hit, Go Go Loser Ranger, uh, Windbreaker, and Kaiju Number 8. And we're starting this off with uh, Go Go Loser Ranger, where we see Fighter D versus the Blue Dragon Keeper. This is a will test to see. Will he survive or will he die? Yeah, it's a good question. Plus, I want to get some answers about the girl, too, from the Yellow uh, Squadron. The one with the click. Oh, the priest. Priest. In her case, she'd be a priestess because she's a woman. Priestess. Yeah, <sighs> I, we need to know her story. Uh, hopefully, they kind of reveal some information. I want to see how the fight goes about because it's a big deal. You got a fighter going up against, um, you know, Blue Dragon Keeper is, with his... Uh, Divine artifact, and if you don't win, your chick is up. And we all saw what happened when <sighs> XX tried to fight. I mean, she didn't really have much of a chance. D, but D has adapted and learned a lot while being while infiltrating the cadets. So I think, if anything, he might be a lot better than the typical fighter. Or well, I will say this: D is not even in the good or the bad. He's only in himself. Yeah, because we all saw he didn't think about the cadets, nor he thought about Patrola, Lord Patrola. So. Nope. But let's get started because I've been eager for this. I want to see how this ends. Let's do it. Starting this off in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and... Go! Alright, wait, is that a recap? Yeah, it's a recap. Because we, we, saw, we saw this happen. Now two have died. Yeah, yeah, because it was a Koguma, and now this, and uh, Ichi, and this guy. Not him, but the one we just saw. Are we gonna get an opening on the no. last episode? Uh, damn, I guess not. Uh, episode 12, Never Stop Fighter D. <sighs> Oh shit, we're going back 13 years. Oh, this must have been when the fighters first existed. Okay, we have an octopus. No, we have a. The octopus foxtail? I, I don't know, they're shadowed. Oh no, that one is a pig. <sighs> One of them could have been the ones that fought uh, the blue dragon keeper in, the, in his past. <laughs> yeah, this is why he t they discovered they can die. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So they've spoken before. I'm surprised he doesn't remember after that many years. I'm surprised the other one don't have hair like that. Or maybe that... That's not a bad look. Oh, that's D. You saw the, the letter? So that means D represent your lion. Coral. It doesn't look bad though. Shit, I'll rock with it. And I think D doesn't even know what to do because he's like, what the fuck are we doing? Oh! Okay, so we did, we, we did. At least we can end the season because it, when we get the next season, I don't think we're going to get the same opening. Uh, maybe. I don't know. The only time I've ever seen an opening stay that long was Hunter Hunter. They had the same opening song through the whole thing. Okay, yeah. Because I'm like, no, nah, I know the season changed when they were going to a different arc. Like the, they, they, changed, they changed what, the, what it shows, but the song has always been the same though.
I'm gonna let you know, Abba Killer beat Blue Keeper horribly in a sad stage. Oh, really? Wait, he got killed horribly? He wasn't dead, but he was a human humiliated. How's that bad? How's that worse, though? Basically, my game is done, and then he vanished. So that means he didn't take time to kill them. Jesus. <laughs> but in the fanfic, all the other four now know the name. Abba Killer. <laughs> Alright, man. This, how's he gonna handle this? Whoa, wow. He's actually acknowledging him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's doing overdrive. Dude, he's combining the, the thing. He's combining that with the Omi Bozu. He, he, he used to do them separately. That means he's really a challenge. Jesus! I wonder, can Fire Dude involve himself? I don't know. That's not what they were specifically made for. No, they're not. Yeah, I was gonna say. See, I'm a little bit conflicted given his past that I'm hearing about. I'm conflicted with both of Yo, my man's resourceful as shit. Well, he can die. If he gets hit with the with the weapon of the divine artifact, but he got out. He's using his enemy knowledge. Uh, I remember he used the shield earlier in the other episode. Oh, damn it. A woman. It's got to be the, the girl. The one that the junior rank. The one that follows him. You know he ain't gonna die. He could still die and another fighter could take the place. That is not, that's not cowardly. That's being resourceful. Exactly. That's exactly right. Come on, D. Come on, D. Jesus. You took away his fighting spirit! This motherfucker's still alive? Now he's angry. Because Patrola interfered. Like an assist and then got him with the finishing blow. Wow. Wow. He killed them, but not in the way that he wanted them, though. That's another divine artifact that can be taken. He was waiting for that time. He doesn't like the... You know, now he's angry. He should really kill Patrola. Yep, yep, he got the anger. Jesus, really? So Patrola is gonna is gonna escape. So there was a prediction from the fanfic that lost he lost horribly. Damn. Uh. Are you kidding me? That's what you care about? That is really what you're caring about right now. The group hype. Green Keeper? No, it looked like red. Two died. Yo, we and lost two Keeper. We lost two people in that thing. 
我々はたった一人で幹部に立ち向かいそして返り討ちにあったってだそんな Yo, that dude shouldn't have died though. But he, he fought hard though. Oh, no! Yes! Holy shit, yes! <laughs> You're happy. Yo, I am happy, man. I was gonna be pissed because he died. I mean, we still lost somebody, but I'm glad he didn't die though. Yo! Yo! I was gonna say who did. Who, who saved them? Damn, Fire D is gonna be in the middle. No, but this is the thing. After everything that they just did in fighting a monster, they should they should be promoted though. They should get promoted. Chill. But this is a whole ball game now. Plus, they're gonna need all the cadets. I mean, the Rangers are gonna need all the help anyway. Yeah, she looks like she she doesn't want to be on camera. Whoa, 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 what the hell is going on? He died. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he dead. What I want to know is, what is it about this organization they're talking about? I mean, come on, her face doesn't make it obvious. Oh, he put it, he hit it. <laughs> <clears throat> no, you gotta turn back to Hibiki. No, he's angry. Wait, four more left. How is there four more left? It would be three. He took red. Took. Oh, it's to kill. To kill. I thought you meant the artifacts. I thought it was. The... Oh, his face looks fucked up. Damn, are you. Well, that was fast. Hey, guys, so we are officially done with Go Go Loser Ranger. Um, it was fast. <laughs> The episode of the season. The episode. Okay, okay. Uh, but could we we just going to give our overall review of this whole yeah. season. Um, I seriously wish they gave us more more information about the uh, that woman. You know, because I still wanted to know more about her backstory. Which woman? Wh who do you think? Yellow Squadrons girl. Oh. I still want to get a little bit more information about that. Maybe they will give down season two. Yeah, well, I think they would call it part two or something. I don't know if this counts as season one completely or if it's just part one of season one. Like, I don't know. Good point. So, but um, there's that. We know Hibiki's watching somewhere remote. His face looks fucked up, man, from that yeah. damage he got from that, that supposedly replica divine artifact as it's labeled. So that means that divine artifact could even damage human horribly. Oh no, we've seen it, man. When we saw that little redness in his face after um, D came up to him, or I'm sorry, not when D came up to him, but when we found out that it wasn't the actual fighter, it was actually Hibiki, so he took the sacrifice with his left, his right hand. Mm -hmm. I was like, fuck, man, like, this, this dude. It makes me think he's gonna play some type of role because you saw the way, he, the look in his eyes? It wasn't like one of those, like, happy going. No, it was like he was like he was focused, and I'm He's like, determined like now. something's on his head. He said he wanted to chase the Rangers first, but you know, it's find out that Blue died. Not only that, but hearing about the secrets being revealed in an organization, like what what's going on with that? That, that there there's more to it than we don't know about. There's more to it to meet the eyes. Yeah, but I'm like, there means there are other elements other than the mo You saw the way that that cadet, that the ranger was talking about, ta was talking about Lord Patrola, that how he escaped and everything. He was nervous. No, but he knew about Patrola, meaning the rangers knew about this motherfucker. Because for a regular ranked ranger to talk about it casually on the phone means that they were aware about this thing. The way he sounded, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm gonna... I thought that this season was very good. I thought it was interesting. It had gotten me with surprises, unpredictability. Um, it had its good humor. It had good action. 
and it made me to like the like characters I didn't think I was gonna connect to because my focus was more. Well, on you're the, happy that sh- Afro shoving small guy alive. Kagu- Kagumo, yeah, of course. You, why you gotta say it like that, man? Yeah. I just describe what I see. Yeah, but the way Patrola say said the little sheep or something like that. Fine, the little sheep, <laughs> little chubby sheep. Hey, hey, don't be making fun <laughs> of the man. You body shaming the ranger now? You body shaming the ranger, the cadet? No, you because fool. there is a super sensei that's chubby in the future. I, I clearly, I know because I've seen, I've seen it already. Break I, in! Hell, I saw one of the Canadian guys who were in that Japan Super Sentai who's big, and he turns thin. I, I clearly know from watching that. Not the point. point is, like, he was really starting to find himself to really do it. So the fact is, I hated that when someone really find themselves and are looking to change, and then he, I thought he was killed off. I thought he was killed off. So you, you, you can this, understand I was angry. A four-way war. A what? Four-way war. Why do you say that? Dragon Keeper, Boss Monster, Fighter D, and the Orgo Nation. And Fighter D doesn't have any uh, support because he's high. He's by himself. Yeah, but that's a problem though. That's a four-way war. Later on, maybe he will recruit people to be, but we don't know until season two. But that's like I say, it will happen a four-way war fighting each other. Once we get more information <sighs> as to the other side, we only think of three at the moment because well hold on he could get the fighter d he could after if he shows the other fighters that he did what he did and made it through he could encourage them to do the same yeah but remember we sing we singularized fighter d alone we didn't think about having him input because he has to convince the fighters but but if i know patrola he's gonna go if he goes back to that base he'll Say, oh, you know, D did all right, but the thing is, D does. Um, the bo- patroller doesn't want irregularities of fighters like he is. He's an exception given what he just did. I mean, his the letter D alone just tells me defiance, of, like or destruction. Yeah, but I would, I don't know. I I, I like that you're saying dest- destruction, but I feel defiance is more because he goes up against his normal code what he was designed to be made for so that's why i think defiance is like defiant or defiance so is a better double word double x mean no that's what he, that's what he called her because of the the sign the sign in that that ranger office in the fucking trash or whatever it just gave the logo it showed only xx so he decided to call her that mm. that was Batola that called her that um she never made a name mm. but I enjoyed this season. If I could truly rate the show, I give it an eight point five out of ten. In my I opinion, give it, I give it a nine. And uh, well, you want to give your thoughts and opinions and of everything that went down on the ser- this well, season? Well, the series was good. The fighting was good. The, the action, the suspense. You think you know what's gonna happen, but then they just make you a three sixty in a in a second. What and was? Could I ask? Um, let me ask you something. What was something that totally threw you off? And what was your favorite? The chubby guy se- live. I thought he died. <laughs> okay. And what was your favorite <sighs> part of the show that you enjoyed? The fighting scene, the epic battle, but it took away. Are you talking about a uh, blue keeper and that fighter D? Oh yeah, I know. I know. That's what a true battle is, not all made up. Good versus evil. Yeah. Yeah, if they That's actually... That's what D was missing. Yeah, he, he found his voice and he let that shit come out and he knew what he did. If you don't have that and desire... And he know that if he die, he die with glory. That's true. That's but, what most villains do. But he was trying his they best not die. to die, though. Yeah, but then it took it away. <laughs> oh, Basically, man. if you give someone a candy and they're like, oh, you took it away? <laughs> Oh man, we are going to miss reacting, and we are looking forward when the Apex can react to Go Go Loser Ranger again. But until then, we have other shows and other projects to do. We thank you all for this journey, who have watched us watch the show. And uh, other than that, we must bid you all adieu. Au Come on, man, don't do it in any wrong way. Au revoir! And uh, say goodbye and good night. Bang! <laughs> Views. I need some other fucking views. Views.